I am quitting my job. It's over. Let's go. Actually, not. It's not gonna happen. What's up guys? Josh and Tolin here and today, share ko sa inyo ang first ever pay ko sa YouTube. Last January, nag-email sa akin ng Google AdSense na meron akong payout. It's just so satisfying na merong kang sweldo sa pinaghirapan mo. Pero I don't want this na maging main focus kung bakit ako gagawa ng videos kung bakit ako nandito sa YouTube um, and I'm not going to quit my day job dahil lang nakatanggap na ako ng bayad from YouTube I started YouTube for my purpose of sharing my thoughts sharing my works into a bigger audience na may share din sa ibang tao kung saan ako nagsimula I never went to film school I never went to a photography school hindi ako properly learned tungkol sa film and photography and videos when I first got my DSLR few years ago I think that was in 2011 YouTube helped me dahil doon ako nakapag-aral ng tutorials ng tips and tricks until now it's YouTube is the second largest search engine kung meron kang kailangan it's either i-google mo or i-youtube mo I'm just sharing this to you because maraming tao ngayon into vlogging into YouTube just like me I'm fairly new sa YouTube industry matagal na akong YouTube member since 2012 pero I'm more of a watcher rather than a creator. No, pero last year, a friend of mine, Maki, actually told me na bakit hindi ko subukan mag-YouTube? Since I have the tools, I can speak relatively well, I can present myself na okay naman. So I said, oh, that's that's a good idea. And this is a venue or this is a channel for me to really share my thoughts and also document my life kung anong nangyayari sa, sa buhay ko. Diba? So I just want to share something. Nung natanggap ko yung aking first ever na sweldo sa YouTube, one thing na ginawa ko, tinabi ko lang. Hindi ko siya ginastos. Naka-auto pay siya sa bank account ko so hindi ko siya physically na-withdraw. Pero nung pumasok siya sa bank account ko, is I separated it, um, nilagay ko sa savings ko. Para, kumbaga, hindi, dahil nga, for me, this is not the driving factor why, why I'm here. Diba? I want to do this because I want to. Ginagawa ko to for the sake of me satisfying my artistic needs. Um, I have my own job which satisfy my my financial needs and I'm we are currently building up a business which will satisfy more of that financial needs. So I think YouTube is hindi siya talaga for me main driver ng ng pera. Actually sa lahat naman ng bagay if it's for the money it's not for the long run. So yun yung isang bagay na natutunan ko. Do it because you love it, do it because you want it, do it for yourself, do it not for the money, but just do it because you enjoy it. So kaya ako nandito sa YouTube ngayon. Nagtatagalog ako ngayon dahil may nakausap pa akong YouTuber nag-suggest sa akin na I'll go with the Tagalog or Filipino. And she is Judy Travis and Benji Travis as well. Because I ask what tips na mabibigyan nila sa akin for me to grow my channel, sabi ni Benji unang-una is be comfortable dun sa language, di ba? And kasi tinanong ko eh, I am living here in Hong Kong. I don't speak Chinese. So number one is I will speak English. And then my audience, you, are mostly from Philippines. Some are from other parts of the world, pero generally coming from the Philippines and speak Tagalog and Filipino. Ang sabi ni Judy, napapansin niya sa mga vlogs, vloggers ngayon is mostly Tagalog naman eh. Do dahil nasa Pilipinas sila or yung ibang at, mga YouTube friends ko, kaya Tagalog talaga ang kanilang market. So ako, medyo nandun pa ako sa fine line if I will use English or if I will use Tagalog. Pero ngayon, I'll speak mostly half-half <laughs> siguro. 
um, Taglish because I am comfortable naman in speaking English and I don't want also to set aside yung Filipino viewers because that's the way na makaka-relate pa ang aking mga viewers, ang aking mga subscribers dahil mostly they are coming or you are coming from the Philippines. Ayan. So, yun yung isang tip na ginagawa ko ngayon at tinatry kong go in moving forward pero let me know um, should I speak in English or should I speak in Filipino even if both of them I am very much comfortable speaking ano ba para sa inyo yung bagay sa akin <laughs> nung tinabi ko yung YouTube earnings so may plano kasi ako I'm planning to upgrade my camera dahil luma na yung camera ko before so kailangan ko na ng more siguro step up sa professional level ng camera. So, pinag-ipunan ko lang pero yun yung papupuntahan ng YouTube earnings ko and together with other earnings sa uh, ibang mga uh, outside gigs na ginagawa ko. Again, if you are here in YouTube and the driving force or the driving factor for you is money, I don't think na you will be here for long. Sabi nga ni Benji and Judy Travis nung nakausap ko sila is that YouTube is something that gusto mong gawin for free dahil hindi stable ng YouTube actually. So, merong payout na malaki, may payout na hindi depende sa market mo or depende sa subscribers and sa videos pero generally, nandito ka because this is a platform for creators, a platform for creatives to share their thoughts, their their works, no? kagaya ng ginagawa ko. Kaya nagsasucceed yung mga pioneer YouTubers dahil hindi sila nandun sa platform dahil may pera sa platform. Nandun sila dahil meron silang freedom to create. Hindi sila limited sa broadcast, sa TV pero nalilimit lang sila sa kanilang sariling creativity which is a good one. So again, this is Josh Antolin. If you like this video, hit that like, subscribe if you haven't and see you in the next video. Bye. I don't think you're...